Dr. Nichelle Gerlay, and I'm specialized in prenatal, postpartum, and pediatric chiropractic care, along with prenatal and postpartum fitness and rehab. We're going to review the breech tilt. I'm demoing this while I am 39 weeks pregnant because this is a lot of times when people are doing the breech tilt. So you can see what it's like for a very pregnant woman to be getting onto the ironing board or onto pillows. The breech tilt is going to be a position where you are in a declining position. So you're, you're hanging off of the couch essentially and supported so that you can allow for baby to untuck from the pelvis if their butt is heading down into the pelvis so they can untuck. It's also used to help relax, in the, or relax the round ligaments and their lower abdominal wall just because we do want those to be relaxed to allow baby to flip. So a lot of times people will feel a big shift after they stand up. It doesn't mean baby's going to be flipping then, but they feel a big shift in just overall baby movement because they've unlocked them from the pelvis. So this is a pediatric chiropractic table that I use um, just for this demo, but it ideally would be an ironing board. The best way to get on is to lay next to it. Gently lower yourself down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a glute bridge and bring my body up on to the ironing board. And it's never graceful, so don't worry about that. And then you'll just sit in this position for roughly 10 minutes. And right now I can feel a big pull of my baby coming up from my pelvis. And I can feel relaxing of my round ligaments and an opening up of my abdominal wall. So you'll just relax here for 10 minutes. I'm going to come out of this position now and I'm going to show you it on pillows because we do have the option to use pillows if you don't have an ironing board at home. Ironing board is the spinning baby's way, which is a little bit better than the pillows because it's going to put you at more of that um, inclined position, but this is better than nothing. So stack whatever pillows you have up in a, in a fashion like this. And then I'm going to do a similar movement. It's just a little bit more challenging with pillows to get up on because you have to kind of smush them underneath your body. So I'm going to come up and over and wiggle. And then same thing where I'm going to be in that position where I'm upside down in that position here, holding for 10 minutes, making sure that I'm intentionally relaxing my abdominal wall and allowing gravity to do its work. So again, breech tilt, you hold for roughly 10 minutes. You can do it up to two times a day and it is recommended to do it until baby has gone head down. And when you know they're head down, you're uh, supposed to stop the breech tilt.